Okay, guys, I'm back. So, for today's Monday, May 25th activities, as I told you, we're going to work on the last session of Challenge 7. So, you're going to go and look into your iPad on Session 20, where, where you see number 20, you click on it, okay? Let me show you where. You're going to go all the way on these numbers until the last one that is number 20 and you're going to click on it, okay? And today we have very great things to talk about. The first one is about monarch butterflies, okay? I know you already know these because we already saw it in the classroom with Miss Gabby and Miss Alexa. And as you all know, the monarch butterflies are a very special kind of butterfly with very particular colors in them. Who can tell me the colors of a monarch butterfly? That's right, they have orange, black, and little white spots of white. Okay, very good. So, I'm going to put you a video of the life cycle and how they migrate the monarch butterflies, okay? You already know it. So, how can we help the monarch butterflies? This is the video about. And this video is not here in the Notion app, but you can go to YouTube and in the Discovery channel, you can put monarch butterfly videos and here you're going to display it, okay? Let me show you how. Okay, here we go. Amazing animals. And the National Geographic. Time for some more amazing animals. Number forty-nine. The amazing monarch butterfly. <laughs> These lovely orange, black, and white creatures do absolutely incredible things. Found in North, Central, and South America, and a few other places in the world, the monarch butterfly starts life by being born on a milkweed leaf. They quickly fatten up to become colorful caterpillars, and it's not long until they start the incredible transformation from pupa into something really rather magical. Then come on, they're sniffling, ready for takeoff. In only a matter of hours, the monarch is ready to fly. From baby egg to butterfly in just around a month, it's one of the most startling transformations of the whole animal kingdom. The monarch butterfly can travel thousands of miles, and when the wind is right, even to Great Britain. Some of the journeys are so long, only the butterfly's grandchildren get to make it home, sometimes resting in the same tree as their grandparents before them. Let's space on this branch, kid. Oh, great, man. Everyone is here. The monarch butterfly certainly deserves to be called an amazing animal. Okay, so that's the video I showed you about the monarch butterfly, okay? Then... We're going to go to what is a life cycle, guys. There are different kinds of life cycles, okay? I already explained in several days ago and sessions ago the life cycle of a plant, the life cycle of a butterfly, and even the water cycle, okay? I mean, the water cycle is not a life cycle per se, but it's a cycle. Okay, so we're going to work on any life cycle. It can be a plant life cycle, an animal life cycle, or a butterfly life cycle. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the page you're going to work on for today. You go to the last page, it's page number 19. If you go to page 19, so guys, I'm going to find it. Sorry, guys, to page 30. Page 30. If you go to page 30, then you find number 30, and it says, draw an example of a life cycle. Okay? So you can think, oh, I want to draw a plant life cycle. And if you want to draw a plant life cycle, you can make a drawing here, like the several days ago, we made a drawing of a plant. So you can maybe draw some grass, or you can maybe draw 
the glass, the container glass with some cotton inside and maybe some beans inside and some droplets of water, okay? And on top you can draw a Mr. Sun because the sun rays make the plant grow. That's one type of life cycle. Or maybe you can draw a butterfly life cycle. That is a great life cycle you can draw. And everybody knows it. How does a butterfly grow and work? Okay? It starts with a little egg. So maybe you can draw your little egg. And then when that egg pops, what comes out of the egg? A caterpillar. So maybe you can draw a caterpillar and some food that they eat. Some fruit and some leaves and little plants and seeds they eat. And they get fatter and bigger, the caterpillars, right? And then you can draw a tree with a cocoon on it. Because inside that cocoon, the caterpillar is going to go to sleep and get ready to become a butterfly. That's right. And then you can draw here a butterfly flying, okay? Ask your mother for help. And maybe together you can review the steps of a butterfly life cycle, okay? Yes? This activity you're going to do for today. Okay. Today's session, since this is the last session of the challenge, it's a little bit short in the app. But I have here an extra activity you can do at your house and it's in your printable folder activity. You're going to go and look for the one that says match and cover. Okay? This one is very easy. It has a color code, okay, and some letters, okay? Here, as you can see, they are black, all the colors, but at your house, you can choose each color for each letter, okay? You can practice with your mom, and for example, I'm going to take color red, and in here when it's letter A, the A you're going to color it red. Okay, so I'm going to put a little red beneath the color A. And this is a color code for letter A. Then we have letter H. Okay, I'm going to get another color. Okay, and color underneath with color blue. The letter H. This is a color code for letter H. Then I go to the next letter, letter O. I'm going to get another color. And I'm going to draw a line with a color code that is green, okay? As you can see. Then we have letter X. You get another color. I chose color orange. And you draw underneath color orange X, okay? And the last one it's letter C, you draw another color, and it's color light blue, okay, light blue. So we have here the color, color that you're going to choose at your house, okay. For letter A, I chose red, for letter H, I chose blue, for letter O, I chose green, X, I chose orange, and C, it's light blue blue okay so on the next side you have all the letters mixed up and when you see these are uppercase letters son las mayúsculas las mamás uppercase letter and in here you have the lowercase letters las minúsculas las bebés uppercase lowercase mayúsculas minúsculas, ok, las mamás, las bebés, so you have to match the uppercase letter A and you're going to look where is the lowercase letter A, <gasps> here, I found here a lowercase letter A, so you're going to match the same color, red with red, because they are the same, ok, so you color all the letter A with the color it goes, that it's red. Okay, can you see? Because they are the same. Then you go 
and look for an H. Here we have uppercase letter H color blue. And then you could look for here for a lowercase letter H. Mm, oh, oh, here. So you color it color blue according to the one that is uppercase, okay? Yes, you cover the whole letter, okay? And so on and so on. You go with each matching letter, okay? I'm not going to do it right here all because I'm going to take a long time. But you do it at home, okay? I already explained. And you match your colors with a color code that you chose right here for the uppercase letters, okay? Well, these are the activities, guys, for today. Monday 25, okay? I hope you like them and you had a lot of fun. And I'll see you on Wednesday, guys. Okay, on Wednesday, remember, it's a new book, book number eight, a new challenge, the last challenge of the year. So it's full of fun activities, okay? Take care, be nice, kids, and send you kisses. Bye, guys. See you on Wednesday.